Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a fairly run-of-the-mill beer. Um, this is a seasonal beer from Bell's. This is Bell's Best Brown Ale. Um, gotta admit, I've had this a couple times, and it is just a good, just a good brown ale. It pretty much, I, it's almost the definition for me of what a brown ale should be. This happens to come in a four pack of Tall Boys, which are a 16 ounce, or you know, a true pint, a 16 ounce uh, can. The pour you can see is a, uh, a light brown, thin head. It's got a great color. It's almost, it's, it's, it, it's a brown, a slightly reddish brown. Pretty cool can. You got the uh, Bell's Best Brown Ale, and it's got the um, it's got an owl on there. And this is only available. It's only sold in September and October. That's when it's that's when Bell's makes it available. I I was able to get it a little bit after that uh, at Total Wine. They had some laying around. Uh, it says American Brown Ale, a smooth, toasty brown ale brewed with American hops, best enjoyed with the changing of the seasons. So they, 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 there's a video on their site, and they say they kind of, you know, they kind of wanted to go along with the weather getting cooler and that kind of thing. First sip, mm, very good. It's uh, it's refreshing. In the sense that it has a slight hoppy brightness to it, but it also has the, the the very things that make a brown ale a brown ale, which is that that kind of malty, nutty, toasty flavors. That's good. Sugar. So this can also says uh, ball on it. I've mentioned that with some of the Oscar Blue cans. And um, so Ken, who I've done some uh, videos with, said there's only two main manufacturers of cans, and that is ball and crown. So I'll have to look into that and, um, and see what the deal is with that. So we have here... Um, what are the stats on this? The ABV is 5.8%. So it's it's a little heavier than like your Bud Lights or something like that, but it's not too heavy. I mean, you could you could drink a couple of these. It's it's, it's quite enjoyable. Um, there's no IBUs listed listed. Something else that was interesting. <clears throat> on their website, it says this should be enjoyed in a no-nick glass. So a no-nick glass is like a regular um, conical pint glass, except right about here there's a bulge. And they do that for a couple reasons. One is it helps you grip it better so your hand doesn't, you know, slide, the cup doesn't slide through your hand if it has a bulge right here. Um, the other thing is it makes the glass stronger and it makes them easier to stack without them sticking together because the, it sits on that on that ring. Talk about some of the flavors. So there's definitely almost like a, not, it's it's nutty but not like peanut buttery. It's more like Maybe it is a, like a hint of peanut butter-ish. And, and the malty flavors are good. It, there's a slight caramel notes, but not too heavy. I see there's anything else on the can here. Not really. Shelf life, six months. Brewed and canned by Bells in Comstock, Michigan. 
I, I'm, I'm happy with Bells. I'm very happy with Bells. Um, I just did the Bells Black Note Stout 2016, which was fantastic. I mean, I think it's one of, it's, I think the highest beer I've, uh, highest beer ranking on the channel so far. I believe I gave it a four and a half. And as far as rank goes, this is just a good performer. I mean, it's just a, a good solid beer. There's really nothing objectionable about this beer. Some some lacing you can see there. Not not a lot though. And no real head to speak of. Um so I think if I in rating this beer, I would give it between a 3.75 and 4. And I think I'm going to go 3.75. It, they could have done a little bit more with it, maybe, but that's, I don't think, what they were going for. They're, it's kind of a staple. It's probably a good seller for them, I would imagine. Um, it's easy drinking. I've had it on draft, and it was very good on draft. Excuse me. We have some exciting things coming up. And in the next, uh, not this weekend the next weekend I'll be down in South Florida be drinking with uh, Scott and Adrian again we have a couple things uh, planned to share with the group so that should be good I have so we have so many beers be between the three of us that we've been going back and forth on which beers to review <clears throat> And um, I may bring down my bottle of uh, Funky Buddha's um, Last Buffalo in the Park. I've never had it. Scott said it's one of his all-time favorites, so I'm sure it's good. Noisy doodle. Well, this has been pretty good. Coming to the end. Until next time. Cheers.